Today's recipe is kabocha turmeric tea cake, which is on page 42. This one's another very easy all-season loaf cake, but it's a bit more involved than the others. You first need to find a kabocha squash, which isn't at all grocery stores. I found mine at Whole Foods. Kabocha is a Japanese variety of winter squash. It's round and green with orange flesh. It tastes like a cross between a pumpkin and a sweet potato. You can make this recipe without the squash and use canned pumpkin if you can't find it or want to make it quicker. Okay, let's get started. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Grab a sheet pan and cover it with foil. Using a fork or a skewer, poke some holes around the outside of the squash. Then, roast it whole for around 90 minutes. When you can easily pierce it with a fork, it's done. Let it cool before you cut it open to scoop out the flesh. Here's all the equipment you need for this recipe. A digital food scale. Four and a half by eight and a half inch loaf pan. Hand mixer or whisk. Rubber spatula. Offset spatula. Toothpicks. Two large bowls. Cooling rack and a sheet pan with parchment paper. And here's all the ingredients for the cake. Coconut oil for the pan. 40 grams hulled pumpkin seeds. 200 grams all-purpose flour. Six grams baking powder. One teaspoon ground turmeric. Three quarter teaspoon kosher salt. Half teaspoon garam masala. Two large eggs at room temperature. 35 grams maple syrup. One teaspoon vanilla extract. 175 grams sugar. 110 grams liquefied coconut oil. And 232 grams cooked kabocha squash. Place a rack in the center position and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Time to prepare the pan. Coat the bottom and sides of the pan with coconut oil. Then, line the bottom and longer sides with parchment paper. Make sure you leave a little bit of overhang on each side. This recipe also calls for hulled pumpkin seeds. The seeds inside the pumpkin have a shell called a hull. These are edible but can get stuck in your teeth. Clean and dry a quarter cup of the seeds and lay them out on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Bake them for two to three minutes Shake the pan and put them back in the oven for another two to three minutes. They should be golden, puffed, and starting to pop. I didn't do this next part, but if you want, you can put them in a bowl of water. The cracked hulls will float to the top and the seeds will sink to the bottom. You can toss out the hulls and dry the seeds to use. In a large bowl, pour in the flour, baking powder, turmeric, salt, and garam masala. Whisk and set it aside. In the other bowl, pour in your room temperature eggs and whisk to break up the yolks and whites. Then pour in the maple syrup, vanilla extract, 150 grams of the sugar, and whisk for about 30 seconds until the mixture is smooth and slightly thick. Next, while whisking, slowly pour in the coconut oil until it's fully incorporated. Lastly, add in the kabocha squash and whisk until it's nice and smooth. Using your hands, make a well in the center of your dry mixture. Then slowly pour in the wet ingredients. Whisk until you have a smooth, homogeneous batter. Be careful not to lose control of your hand mixer here. The speed might have been a little too fast, but crisis averted. Add the pumpkin seeds and fold them in with a rubber spatula. Using the spatula, scrape your mixture into the prepared loaf pan and smooth it out. Then sprinkle the rest of the sugar across the top. Bake it for 55 to 65 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. Let the cake cool in the pan for 20 minutes. Then, using the offset spatula, cut down on the inner edges of the pan. Grab the parchment paper and lift the cake out onto a cooling rack. Let it cool completely before testing. Time to test. Kabocha squash is sweeter than regular pumpkin. I normally use canned pumpkin, so it was fun to roast the squash first, but it did take a really long time. 
The cake is really tender and the spices give it a complex flavor to balance out the sweetness. My boyfriend wasn't a fan of the seeds incorporated into the cake. I think I prefer them on top so it's a little less of a surprise. Bon appétit! And that's a wrap! This is the most unique and fancy pumpkin bread I've ever made. What do you guys think? Did you make this recipe? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be back next time with another recipe from Dessert Person.